Hello everybody, um, this is Atticus. I get asked all the time, how do I create my, my banner ads on hourly rev share? And of course the banner ads uh, are part of what drives this thing and uh, you really want to set up your banners, you paid for them. And they do actually drive traffic. I've gotten signups and other things from them. Um, just to point out, notice that there are three different types of banners on hourly rev share. <clears throat> right here you see what's called a 468 by 60 banner. That's a standard banner size, so it's kind of a smaller banner. And then if we go down the side on the left, you see all these square banners. Okay, They're 125 by 125. And then uh, at the bottom, you see the large banners, which are 728 by 90. So just to, um, th those, are, those are dimensions in pixels. So you can create three different types of banners. As you can see, I have three banners going here right now. Notice that they're kind of goofy, right? Um, but you can see that it's kind of an attention getter, right? I have a, a picture of me gasping, and uh, I, I reuse this picture that I simply snapped with my iPhone. Um, I highly recommend making your own banners or doing something that stands out from the crowd. Notice that everybody kind of has the same banners here because everybody's just kind of a little lazy and and you know just grabbing whatever affiliate banners they have I'm gonna show you how to do it I'm gonna show you how to if you are in an affiliate program you may as well promote it you never know what could happen but then again I always recommend you go to some kind of personalized page so for example you see here um, I have a personal video page that I'm sending people to not direct to my affiliate link um, here I'm, I'm actually running a banner for a friend um, so this isn't my program but anyway this is how you create a banner okay I showed you, showed you the different types of banners so um, what we do here is let's see I already have uh, three banners running so let's go here I'm going to click add a new ad okay and um, I'm going to go to Briscoe Fund, which is a um, you know a program that just launched. And in Briscoe Fund, they have a thing that says referral links, your referrals. So if I want to refer people, I click on referral links. And there are, of course, these three different types of banners that I explained with the different dimensions. This one here is the one I like because if you go to hourly rev share, you see that, in fact, somebody is promoting Briscoe Fund right here. How ironic. But this is visible on just about every page you go on in hourly rev share. These 125 banners run down the side and see when people don't put in a banner ad correctly, it kind of goes missing. Then down here at the bottom, way down at the bottom is where you see the banners, the larger banners. I, I like these and I like these. These tend to get a lot of hits here because there's a lot of real estate to show them on. These get fewer hits because there's three per page but still they're very visible they're kind of in your face so I recommend the medium sized banners they're my preference and I'll go here and I'm gonna grab the information and notice here's some HTML code but you can de decipher this by saying um, this means this is where the banner is gonna point to when it's clicked on and this is the actual source of the banner let's start our start backwards we're gonna grab the uh, actual URL of the banner because you have to point to your banner that has to be sitting out there on the internet somewhere. Now we're using 468 by 60, so we have to go here and make sure we choose this zone here so that the ad shows up here. Otherwise, your ad's going to look distorted if you, if you select the wrong zone. Now site URL, that simply means when someone clicks the banner, where do we want them to go? Well, we grab that information right here. Okay and ahref equals there should be a quotation mark there but there isn't that's just a, a feature of the script that I see that's very common in use anyway you can just go like this you grab everything from the H to the very end of the URL that's your affiliate link you go here paste it in okay and then you have to give this a name so we're gonna call it Briscoe fun and so I'm creating a banner. I'm calling it Briscoe Fun. I'm pointing it to my affiliate. My site URL is my affiliate link. My banner URL is where on the internet is the banner that I'm using. Now it can be on your own server. You can put it anywhere you want. But typically these programs have banners like this. But like I said, you're going to do better. You're going to get more people, you know, 
being a lot more curious um, by creating your own banner. If you create your own banner, uh, you're going to get a lot of clicks. Notice this one here, Holy Cow Batman, you can get rich uh, buying artwork, question mark, and it goes to this website. You know, I get a lot of clicks on it, and I got a lot of inquiries and stuff like that. So here we're going to add this banner, and we're going to get a confirmation here. Your Briscoe Fund has been added. Your ad Briscoe Fund has been added. So I go down. Lo and behold, there's my banner ad. It has my affiliate link in it. Super. Now, that's half. We're, we're halfway done. Now we have to say, how much traffic do I want to send there? And I happen to have a lot of credits stored up because I purchased a lot of VIP packs. So every time I buy a VIP pack, they give me a million credits. So I go here, and I allocate some credits. And I say, okay, so far I have zero credits allocated. So, you know, I have plenty of credits. Let's, why don't we toss uh, $100,000 at it. Now, that's how you create a banner. I'm going to click Allocate. And, and then my banner ad is going to start showing up here. And every time I see a Briscoe fund, it could be mine or it could be somebody else's. And then you can always come back and click on Manage Banner Ads later down the road. And uh, you should see your traffic increase here. Uh, you should see that you have uh, how many times people have actually pulled this up on their on the website. So if you wait about five or ten minutes, you'll see these numbers start to change, just like these other banners show. I've had 62,000 views on this, and 66 people have clicked on this. I've had 386,000 times this banner was shown, and 444 people have clicked on it. Um, you know, 72,000 views, 615 clicks. So this shows that this is actually a pretty good ratio. It's a lot better than this ratio. Um, but anyway, that's how you create a banner ad. And I uh, hope this helps. And if you have any questions, you can certainly contact me. Thank you.